Let me know in the comments how many of you are going to try this recipe. Today let's make the air fried Haryali tandoori chicken. Kaafi hara hai and flavor se bhara hai. And I know for a fact if you're watching till here, you're already hungry. Puri society a jayegi jannne ke liye ki kya bana hai and you will say, Kuch nahi hai, wapis jau. Okay, let's begin. We're going to make the green masala for the marination first. Some mint leaves, coriander leaves, some fresh green chilies. We're going to add a little bit of garlic to this and some peeled ginger and just grind this into a paste. You can add a little bit of water if you want. This is going to act like the base for a marination. So keep this aside. As for the chicken, I'm using whole chicken legs. If you want to make this boneless, I recommend using leg boneless if you want. I'm going to make some cuts on the chicken so that the marination really gets into the chicken. And make sure you do this because it really helps. Now, finally, let's make the marination. I've got some hung curd over here. This is about 250 grams of curd which I've just hung for 30 minutes. Next we're going to add the green masala that we had prepared. For the spice powders, I've got some black pepper powder, some cumin powder, garam masala and just a little bit of haldi powder. Add in the roasted kasuri methi along with the chaat masala and a little bit of salt. And the next thing we're going to add is some bhuna besan. This really elevates your tandoori marination game. I highly recommend if you're making the marination, make the bhuna besan because it not only helps in the binding but also gives this beautiful nutty flavor to your marination. If you're wondering how to make the bhuna besan It's very simple. I've shared that part in the recipe as well, so do check it out in the description. It's just almost like making roux. You heat up the oil. Oil consistency is little more than the besan. Heat up the oil, add in the besan, and just bhuno it on medium low heat for at least two to three minutes till that rawness goes away. You'll get this beautiful nutty aroma as well. And that's the point. You can just stop and keep this. You can actually make this and keep it and store it in the fridge for at least a few months. Doesn't go bad really quickly. But I made a little bit of it just. for this marination so let's continue okay next step we're going to add in the mustard oil and just mix this up really well mix it up till everything is combined also make sure it's a very smooth marination there are no curd lumps here and there so mix it up really well also taste the marination for the salt levels if you feel like you want to add a little more salt or a little more chaat masala please do that into this we're going to add the chicken now i've used three chicken legs but i'm pretty sure this masala is enough for five to six chicken legs cover the chicken nicely with the marinade and just let it marinate for five to six hours in the fridge i just left it overnight because I wanted to make it the next day for lunch. The next thing we're going to do is smoke the chicken. This is completely optional, but if you do this step, it definitely gives it that smoky flavor you get at a tandoori restaurant. So if you have the ingredients, do try it out. Finally, place the chicken into your air fryer. I have an oven-based air fryer, so I'm going to place it on top of this grill. If you have the drawer ones, don't worry about it. Just place the chicken inside the basket. Now I'm going to air fry this at two temperatures. First at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Then I'm going to take it out, brush it with some butter, and then air fry it again at 220 degrees. For about three to four minutes, but in all, 15 to 18 minutes is enough to cook the chicken through and through. If you still feel the chicken is slightly raw, let it go back in the air fryer at a lower temperature, about 150 degrees Celsius, for another three to four minutes, and finally it should be done. I've even sprinkled some chaat masala along with a squeeze of lemon juice just before serving it, and that's the recipe, my friends. I've shared a detailed recipe in the description below for you guys to try. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon. I'm going to enjoy this, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.